In this section, we're going to look at exporting multi-track audio from Final Cut Pro X. I'm working on version 10.0.3, and in the recent versions, roles have come in. Now, roles are fantastic, and we're going to get into them in one second. One thing that I want to show you is that in our download sections at delivercommercials.com, you can download this safe title chart. It's a TIFF file, and all you need to do is basically drop it into your sequence, and it will key over and show you save titles. Here is 4x3 save, here is 16x9 save. Very useful, and it's a chart that NBC in New York use, so it's very robust. Don't forget to delete it out of your sequence, or it will render out your final edit. Now back to roles. How to access roles is down the bottom left here, and as you see, I've gone through and made track 1 to track 8. To access them, go to Modify, Edit Roles, and over in here I've added Track 1, Track 2, and so on. Unfortunately, in 10.0.3, you can't delete roles. Now, while I've done this, this will delegate Track 1 is going to be a certain export, Track 2, Track 3, Track 4. The reason you would use this is for 5.1, or as they call 7.1 audio, which has 5.1 mix on the first six channels and full mix stereo on seven and eight. This is renowned for high definition delivery in the US, soon to be in the UK, but definitely in Europe in the next coming months. Once that's done, you need to delegate the tracks. All you need to do is select the track, come up into roles and select which track it's going to be. In this case, it's going to be track one. Now I've gone through and selected track 2 all the way through to track 8 for you. To export this, you need to come up into Share, Export Media, and in the Export section, Roles as Multitrack QuickTime Movies. So once you select that, select your codec, in this case it's Apple ProRes 422 HQ. Come over to Roles, and you'll see this next dialog box. Track 1 in this particular case is going to be mono, track 2 is mono, 3 is mono, 4 is mono, 5 is mono, and 6 is mono, and 7 and 8 we also select as mono mixes. Now as you can see you have a stereo selection here. This will represent if it's a single file that's been encoded as 5.1. In this particular case we've selected each of the tracks to have front, left, low level effects, center, back surround, right surround. So we've made them as mono through here. Once that's done, click next and you'll be asked to save it out. We're going to save this out to the desktop. So let's open this file now in QuickTime 7. I prefer QuickTime 7 because it gives me more options to view the file. Now straight away we can see that we have the audio in multiple tracks here. If we hit Apple J, this will then also open up a, another dialog box which will show you all your multiple tracks down through here. Now this is a fantastic way of having multiple audio tracks for any 7.1 or 5.1 delivery. So that's Final Cut Pro X 10.0.3 and as you can see it has many options that you can use when you're using roles. Always remember to name your file as the ISCII or the clock because your digital distributor will require this when you're uploading to an FTP site or another digital delivery mechanism. <laughs>